Hi there, my name is Kenneth and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here at the PayLab Learning Centre. Together with our PSLE Education Partner, EduSnap, we'll be looking through EduSnap's database of questions and I'll be sharing with you what I think is the most important information to know about PSLE Science, especially misconceptions and frequently asked questions. Today I'm going to talk about cells. Let me read the question first. Nitya carried out an investigation with two pairs of cells, a plant cell and an animal cell. She placed one plant cell and one animal cell in pure water, and the other pair in salt water as shown in the diagram below. So the first question they are asking now is, explain the differences in the observations when two cells were placed in water. The second question is, what could have caused the cell to shrink in salt water? I'll bring you first through the first question first. What happened when, the bo when both cells were placed in water? So, the answer is, water from the beaker moved into the cell. Once we have understood that, the bigger question we want to ask is, why? And the reason is, water moves from a region where there is more water to a region where there is less water. Okay? So, going back to the question, I want you to take note of one of the keywords in the question itself. It is observations. And what do observations mean? Of the observations are what you can see. So what can we see from the results of this experiment? The animal cell bursts while the plant cell remain the same. And we want to ask ourselves now, what is the difference between the animal cell and the plant cell that caused the difference in the observations as seen in the diagram? Okay, so before I go into the answer, I want to teach you one more new science technique, which is use the definition of the cell part to answer the question. Okay? As previously, what was the difference? Okay, the answer is the cell wall. I'm going to tell you what are the step-by-step -step, uh, thought process that I'm going through when I'm going to write the answer. So the first is you need to explain that water actually moved into the cell, right? Secondly, you tell me that the cell wall is not present in the animal cell. And thirdly, you tell, use the definition of the cell wall to answer the question. So how you're going to formulate your answer is that the water in the beaker move into the animal and plant cell through the cell membrane. Okay? However, the animal cell, unlike the plant cell, does not have a cell wall, use the definition now, cell wall to give it a fixed and regular shape, causing the animal cell to burst. The last part, causing the animal cell to burst, is important because it represents the conclusion in the entire answer for it to be complete. Okay, I'm going to do the second question now. What could have caused the cell to shrink in salt water? Remember the concept of water moving from a region of uh, more to less? Okay, so using this understanding, we say that water from the cell moved into the surrounding salt water through the cell membrane since there was more water in the cell as compared to its surroundings. 